Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today is another episode of Dear Taz. I've invited my audience to ask me some questions and if I feel like that is a popular question, if it's gonna benefit a lot of people, I may just make a video about it. If you're interested in submitting a question, you can email me at askdeartaz at gmail.com. A-S-K-D-E-A-R-T-A-Z at gmail.com. So this is a very popular question that I've received a lot over the years. Marianne writes, Dear Taz, I think it's time for me to go gray. Where do I start? A lot of you, when you get to a certain age, you might think it's more appropriate to be gray. Or maybe your biological hair color right now is gray and you're looking to transition back to that. There's no wrong reason to go gray, uh, yet I've seen a lot of different ladies up into their late 70s even that still really enjoy those rich, vibrant uh, wig colors. So no matter your reason for wanting to go gray, it could be just out of fun and fashion, it could be because you feel like it's more appropriate, you're wanting to match your biological hair, lots of different reasons. But how do you transition into that gray color? That's kind of the big question. There's a lot of grays out there. We're super lucky right now in these, this modern wig world that there are so many different grays available, different tones, different shades, different gradients, um, all very dynamic and realistic looking. Whether you wear wigs or sport your natural hair, what is your current color? So if you're a brunette, um, a brunettes are very easy to transition into grays. I think there's a lot of salt and pepper type of wigs out there that could uh, give you a nice believable gray transition. We're lucky to have some of those salt and pepper options. The other thing you might wanna consider is uh, sticking with your current color, but adding in some very light highlights, maybe some white, like a platinum or a blonde or even a lighter shade of any kind is going to help you start that uh, transition into a lighter, more gray tone shade. So brunettes, you have a, a lot of options out there. I think this gray would be amazing if you're transitioning from brunette to gray. And it is called Storm by John Renault. It's a brand, it's brand new in their Arctic collection. It's FS365660S4. So it's a combination of variable grays, silvers, and then all of that is on a dark root. Because it does have a root, it does imply then to anybody looking on um, that your natural color is a very dark brown. So I think this would be an amazing option if you just wanna get used to seeing yourself in some gray shade. The Carla now, Style by Tressalor in the color Dark Amber Highlight. So as you can see, it's a medium auburn brown but it has all of this ash, thick ash blonde highlighting all the way around the face. This will help you get used to seeing yourself um, with a little bit of a lighter tone around the face. It's an ashier tone. This also has a little bit of caramely note to it, some lighter amber. But for the most part, you can really see some of these ash blonde highlights. And it's very easy to imagine that that may actually be gray coming in helping you make your transition to gray. Here I'm wearing Sweet Talk by Gabor in the color Toasted Pecan, which is GL1823. So it's considered maybe a dark ash blonde, light ash brown, and then it has a lot of light ash blonde highlighting. It almost looks platinum. So it gets kind of gets you warmed up to some of those really light pieces around the face. Now there's absolutely no gray in this color, but again, every time I see it on, I always feel like this would be an amazing transition color going from brunette or blonde to a gray tone. Very ashy. Blondes seem to have a little easier transition into gray. Um, you know, blondes are typically lighter in tone than brunettes or reds, so we can have a lot to work with, a lot to play with in terms of transitioning more to a gray shade. And blondes seem to have a lot of different ashy options that uh, may not have gray in them, 
but that do provide that really ash tone look that would make it easy to go from more of a blonde shade to a gray shade. So here I am wearing the Editor's Pick in Raquel Welch in their brand new color Ice Latte Macchiato RL1723SS, a part of their new Cool Tones collection that came out last fall 2019. I love these colors like this because it comes across very ashy in tone and when you have an ash color, the absence of warmth in that color really does give the appearance that, boy, does she have some gray in that color? Um, you just never know until you're really up close on it. So if you are a blonde and you are considering migrating towards gray, um, this would be a really nice transitional color for you to start with. It's cool in tone. There's no gray in it, but it's very ashy. Here is another great color to consider if you're looking from transitioning more into blonde to gray, and that is to pick yourself an icy platinum color. So what I'm wearing here is Aesthetica's Winter in their color Silver Sun RT8. Now Silver Sun RT8 is almost a pure platinum, but it has a wee little bit of a beigey highlight in it. It doesn't warm it up at all, uh, but it does make it very dynamic. And this just appears in certain lighting conditions. It appears kind of gray, doesn't it? So this would not only train your eye to start seeing yourself in a gray tone, but also anybody who sees you right now is also, it's gonna trend their eye as well. Making that transition may be a little easier. Now this particular one does have a dark root on it. There are plenty of unrooted platinums on the market. So if you're worried that the root might detract from the fact that you're starting to go all gray, because it gives the appearance of the darker regrowth. There are plenty of unrooted platinums out there. What am I? So, okay, Taz, but what if you're a redhead? How do I transition from red to gray? I don't think it's as hard as what you might think. So first of all, um, as you age, you might have been a brilliant, fiery redhead with lots of Irish and maybe some very pale coppers in your hair when you were younger. If you were born naturally with red hair, um, and then it just gradually fades as you get older. The, the reds become a little more flat. Um, and they may appear a little more brown than the brilliant reds that they used to. So the reds run the gamut. We can have anywhere from brilliant cherry reds, deep auburns. Um, and then on the other hand, you can have some beautiful copper tones. All very bright, brilliant, dynamic, and beautiful. Now what I suggest that you do is start with your red. Whatever red that you currently are wearing, whether it's your natural hair or a wig, and maybe gradually get a little bit lighter, adding in some, uh, some highlights. So this is a Raquel Welch's Upstage in Iced Pumpkin Spice RL 2933SS. So it's truly a beautiful red. Uh, but in that, you're going to see a lot of dusty, cool tones. You know, some ash blonde here and there. And that just really sprinkles this. It makes it appear a little bit lighter, a little bit more muted um, than, say, the red that you originally started with. So you can see that all the way around the face, some of that ash blonde highlighting kind of mixed in there it's almost believable that that would be a little bit of a sprinkling of gray. But again, a little bit more of a muted red, maybe interspersed with some platinum or some ash tone blonde might be the first step in migrating from red to gray. Let's take a look. throw this color in there as well just because I have it here on hand if you are red looking to transition into a gray shade I think this would be another great choice of gradually lightening up your look this is Tressalor's Mia in the color Mimosa HL 
It's a combination of some darks and some medium auburns, but it has a ton, a ton of ash blonde highlighting, almost a platinum. So again, it's lighter and brighter around the face. And that will get you used to uh, just looking at a little bit of a different lighter color around the face and it'll also warm up uh, family and friends to the fact that you're you're going lighter and eventually you might want to get into some gray because oftentimes again this ash blonde platinum look is a very icy ash tone color almost gray looking especially in uh, in certain light So now if you want to have a little bit more fun on your journey from your current color to a gray shade, why not check out some of these new Arctic Tone collections from John Renault. Here I'm wearing the January style by John Renault in the new color Flurry. And that is a combination of some medium and light silvers. And then it has a lot of what they call a plum color and all that is on a medium brown root. So it really comes across just really fun. I mean, you can kind of tell that it's frosty and silvery. Uh, it's very intentional, but again, just having some fun while you're looking at going from, let's say a brunette to a gray shade, more salt and peppery. Looks like you added a little bit of fun fashion color to your style. So again, I hope this was really helpful for you. If your goal was to go from your current color to more of a gray, in a seamless, natural looking transition. All of these wig styles and colors are available at Wig Studio One. All of the links and discount codes are attached below in the description section. I would urge you all, if you have not yet ordered from Wig Studio One to give them a try. It's a small business doing wonders for this wig community. I've never worked with such a wonderful group of ladies. Enjoy your day, everybody. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.